God is the only one worthy of our praise. The scripture says over and over many different times and places, especially throughout the Psalms, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. The Psalms are filled with encouragement to praise. And that last psalm, Psalm number 150, says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You know it. There's a song that uh, I've heard recently on the radio. The first time I've heard it, I woke up out of a dead sleep and I said, oh my God, that is wonderful. Whatever I am, whatever I have, let me use it all to praise God. And the song simply says, we must praise. Whoever we are, whatever we are, we must praise. One of the If I were but your mother, I would use my symbols. If I were a lighter, I would use a pencil.
song is also on the CD. And uh, so Becca Mason sang I love The first time I heard her sing, she says, you know, I love to tell stories. I'll write songs that tell a story. And this song tells a really cute story. Most of all, I feel like a good sweet, because that's a long, fat song, too. <laughs> but you know what? I don't really, I'm preaching to the choir when I sing this song to y'all, because you already know how to praise the Lord. You know how to give God glory and honor and how to love and adore God with all your heart. You already carry it on, and I'm grateful to be a part of the carry it on up in here at Covenant Committed to Church. Thank the Lord. The song is called Carry On. Give me a second. I tend to get a little dry and working with some. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> there we go. A little old lady went to talk to her preacher. This is what she had to say. She said, some of our members have started this carrying on and acting in a very undignified way. They've been saying amen. In the middle of the service, shouting out loud, and it's making me nervous. Preacher, I've had about all I can say. Please do something for heaven's sake. Well, the preacher thought about it for a minute or two. About the way things used to be. When the service just lasted for under an hour, and nothing counted for eternity. Well, the choir would sing, and the people would just stare. The invitation came, but the altar was there. Then he said to the sister as he showed her the door, I'll do something, and that's for sure. Well, the very next Sunday, as he started his sermon, this became his number one goal, to remind the people of how things used to be before the Lord came and took control. He said, some of our folks have started this carrying on. 